Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to follow up on my April Fool's video where I claimed I was able to produce video on an unmodified cassette deck. While it's technically not really possible, it is possible to save files, photos, and frames of video as an audio file onto a cassette deck. The technology has been used by amateur radio operators for years, and that's the specific thing I want to tackle today. I want to be able to get at least one frame of video onto a cassette tape. Stay tuned. To recap what I talked about in the previous episode, a videotape recorder needs an incredible amount of bandwidth on the tape in order to produce a usable video and audio signal. For example, analog broadcast television, which even today is an obsolete format, requires at least 6 megahertz of bandwidth. It transmits 25 or 30 frames per second, and it also includes an audio channel or two. In comparison, a regular cassette tape's bandwidth is measured in kilohertz, not megahertz. So how are we going to transmit and save our single frame of video as an audio signal? Well, we're going to use something called SSTV, or slow scan television, in order to do it. As an amateur radio operator myself, this is something I've played with over the years, and it's really pretty ingenious. Slow scan television isn't television as you may think of it. It's what's known as narrow band television. It only needs around 3 kilohertz to pack the information to send a single frame of video, or an image. It isn't really quick either, as we'll see a little bit later. The concept of SSTV was introduced by Copthorne MacDonald in 1957 and 1958. He developed the first SSTV system using an electrostatic monitor and a Viticon tube. It was deemed sufficient to use 120 lines and about 120 pixels per line to transmit a black and white still picture within a 3 kilohertz telephone channel. The first live tests were performed on the 11 meter ham band, which later was given to the CB service in the US. It was even used on early space missions to transmit images back to Earth which is what I found fascinating. A similar concept, also named SSTV, was used on Faith 7 as well as the early years of the NASA Apollo program. The Faith 7 camera transmitted one frame every two seconds with a resolution of 320 lines. The Apollo TV cameras used SSTV to transmit images from inside Apollo 7, Apollo 8, Apollo 9, as well as the Apollo 11 lunar module from the moon. So the SSTV system used in NASA's Apollo missions transferred 10 frames per second with a resolution of 320 frame lines in order to use less bandwidth than a normal TV transmission. The early SSTV systems used by NASA differ significantly from the SSTV systems currently in use by amateur radio operators today, and that's what we're going to take a look at. So let's get some stuff hooked up and we'll walk through it. All right, so to be able to save our single frame of video to send it onto a tape and then receive it back in as an audio file, we're going to use MMSS TV, which is the standard as far as SSTV programs for ham radio. Now I've selected a photo already on here of me holding a cassette tape, which is fitting. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up the Tascam 112 cassette deck to record and we're going to record our transmission. We're not actually going to be going out over the airwaves on this one. Now I'm going to go ahead and let this play. That way if you want to download the software yourself and receive this picture, you can. Might be kind of neat. So let's get recording. And here we go.
So that should have it. We'll go ahead and stop the cassette and rewind it and go back to receive and see if we can get this single frame of video off our cassette now. All right, so for receiving, we're actually going to use a little bit different program. We're going to use RX SSTV. And the reason I picked that one is it's a really easy program to use, it only receives. So if you want to try to receive this picture yourself, I'm going to let the uh, tape play out. That way, if you want to download the program and receive the photo yourself on your computer, you can do that. So I'll leave a link to the RX SSTV program down in the video description so that you can take a look at that then. So let's go ahead and get the tape started, and we'll receive a picture here. I hope you tried to receive that photo on your end. That's kind of cool. I know it's old technology and we have texting and email and instant messaging nowadays, but sometimes it's neat to try the old technology. You know, after that April Fool's video, there were a lot of comments on that about, well, could you do it? Is it possible? Well, I think we showed that we could at least capture individual frames of video using the bandwidth available on an audio cassette. Now, there are other ways to do it. You could save it as data. You could save it digitally. But that's not what I was going for. I wanted to save it as an audio file. 
and slow scan TV being a ham radio operator was the way that I thought about doing it. So I hope you enjoyed the video, something a little bit different today. If you have comments, suggestions, or thoughts, leave them below in the comments section. I love to read through them and I'll answer as many as I can. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next video. We'll see you next time.